okay thank you so in the last class we discussed uh, here uh, material and interoperation steps also completed queue run to move project uh, scrap okay <clears throat> next one is osp outside processing here i am not going to select anything just i'll tell you what is the osp uh, in the production process in between so we will get a some service from the vendor so that can be getting uh, some raw material or a resource anything whatever service you are getting from a uh, vendor in between the production so it is called osp outside processing so that anyway we will see later in that this is the one important cycle uh, outside uh, processing so next year remaining not required information here this is for mobile applications it is not required just save the form save it <clears throat> then close the form next create vip accounting class <coughs> create vip accounting class create vip accounting class write it uh, um, that heading create vip accounting class for the standard discrete job create vip accounting class for the standard discrete job so jobs are two types right standard discrete job non standard discrete job when will create a standard discrete job if i want to produce a new quantity when i'll go for non standard discrete job if i want to have any rework on already produced quantity now i'm creating vip accounting class for standard discrete job navigation navigation vip setup vip accounting classes vip setup vip accounting classes so this is the form here see these are the valuation accounts already somewhere we selected valuation accounts where we selected for the inventory inventory parameters where valuation selected when inventory valuation accounts will impact when you purchase raw material from the supplier when we receive the material from the supplier when this valuation accounts will impact when we receive raw material from inventory to shop floor getting right point inventory valuation accounts will impact when i am receiving material from supplier to my inventory organization when vip valuation accounts will impact when i am receiving raw material from inventory to shop floor inventory to shop floor there was the inventory cost accounts here which are shop floor production manufacturing cost accounts now inventory valuation accounts what will happen inventory valuation accounts will credit shop floor vip valuation accounts will debit right material goes out from inventory material comes into production production valuation accounts debit inventory valuation account credit and also there are variance accounts in inventory also we discussed two variance accounts what are those ipv and ppv purchase price variance account invoice variance account when purchase price variance account will impact that is required only in standard costing method <clears throat> if there is any variance between expected cost and actual cost purchase price variance account will impact when ipv account will uh, impact if there is any difference between purchase price and invoice price with that variance will impact the uh, ipv account here also same way there are variance accounts are available so it is material variance account when this account will impact 
so we expected this is the material is enough to produce it produce this finished good but sometimes we can consume more than that also right whatever expected always 100% for all the jobs for all the units we can't uh, consume same quantity sometimes it can be more what is the example hmm? now i expected this much of quantity enough to produce finished good but consumed actually consume more than that when it will happen in some cases same to produce one bike one engine required that is expected one we created a work order to produce one bike how many engines will use one or two here always one only there is no uh, using more than one engine but in some cases it will happen definitely expected this much of quantity but will consume more than that see for example making potato chips to produce uh, some uh, 100 kgs of potato chips how many potatoes potatoes required something we can expect it but always can so some uh, 50 kgs required 50 kgs required so always will you use uh, 50 kgs that is depends on quality again so if uh, potatoes are quality less potatoes obviously will go for more than decided 50 kgs 50 kgs uh, cost is some 10,000 rupees just I am taking example if I use 52 kgs what will happen the cost will be so this is the variance that only for the 2 kgs variance amount only will keep it in this account so this is the way here where variance accounts will impact but when <clears throat> so this guy is forgetting so in those cases only normally will come into picture this variance account Norm in bikes production cars it is very rare getting variance accounts impact okay fine uh, yeah when valuation accounts will impact when variance accounts will impact again when issue the raw material from inventory to shop floor with valuation accounts will impact when variance accounts will impact when normally uh, variance will calculate huh, when you will find a variance at the time of closing the job till closing the job no need to find what is the variance who will expect it till close the job what variance will happen that we can't expect it that is the reason at the time of close only whip variance accounts will impact this is the important interview question when whip valuation accounts will impact when issue the raw material to shop floor when whip variance accounts will impact when you close the job when you close the job until closing the job variance accounts will not impact fine so select some class <coughs> SZH standard DJ class SDJC <coughs> here also system it will allow you limited characters type this is the VIP accounting class creating for what? Standard discrete. Select standard discrete. <clears throat> now select normally in real time we will define a different accounts for uh, inventory valuation accounts, inventory, uh, sorry, VIP valuation account. But here I am using same. Okay. Otherwise you select one, you copy paste it, that one. <clears throat> the same you copy paste it not a problem nothing will happen
Senhor da Fala. Close the form. <coughs> Next, continue. Assign VIP accounting class to the VIP parameters. Assign VIP accounting class. Assign VIP accounting class to the VIP parameters. Assign VIP accounting class to the VIP parameters. Assigning VIP accounting class to the VIP parameters is not a mandatory, it is optional. Just to default always this VIP accounting class to your job, you assign it. If not assigned, what will happen in the discrete job, you have to select manually always. Which accounting class regularly using, that will assign to the VIP parameters. Navigation with setup parameters. Whip setup parameters. Whip setup parameters. So there is default discrete class. Here you can find it SZH SDJC. SDJC standard discrete job class. Save the form. Save the form. <coughs> Close the form. Next. So almost setups are completed for production. Mandatory setups, not uh, uh, optional setups. Mandatory setups are completed for work in process and bills of material. So remaining, we'll see later. <clears throat> okay. Now, there is the, just see, don't write it, discrete, discrete jobs. Now, when system it will allow to create a discrete jobs, VIP parameters, VIP accounting class must be available. The two completed. And also one more thing, your inventory periods also must be in open status. So inventory periods, when we open before creating the material transactions, right? That already we written somewhere note. If you want to create a, any material transaction, your inventory periods must be in open status. <coughs> but here in work in process, if you want to create a discrete job, inventory periods, you have to ensure it. Those must be in open. Here it is allowing. Why? Because already periods in open this system it will clearly show you no open periods go to inventory and open the periods now it is not showing because of already periods in open <coughs> so discrete job is <coughs> available right then close this form so discrete job is a system is allowing to create the work order next continue now i'll start creating so uh, testing the production process but before that, you have to maintain a stock for raw material. We created four items, right? Three components, one finished good. CPU, it was the finished good. Processor, memory, and hard disk. These three, we created as a components, raw materials. Just maintain uh, on hand for the components. So normally, real time... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, can you? 
adjust on hand availability for components see in real time in the real uh, business environment how we will maintain a stock in your inventory for the raw material will purchase from supplier will receive and will maintain the stock in our sub inventories right but now i want to test it only production cycle i am not uh, going to test any p2p cycle for q2p i want to test only a production cycle so how we can quickly maintain on hand miscellaneous receipt transaction so when we started discussion miscellaneous transaction creating for testing purpose also right no need to completely follow the p2p cycle quickly in seconds i can adjust it on hand then i can start testing the production cycle navigation inventory navigation inventory transactions miscellaneous transactions <clears throat> inventory transactions miscellaneous transactions inventory transactions miscellaneous transactions the select your organization what is the type miscellaneous receipt not tissue receipt select button transaction lines Select item SZ underscore processor Select sub inventory <coughs> raw material one <coughs> Select some quantity thousand select inventory clearing account so now i am going to adjust thousand quantity for pr in which sub inventory raw material one which we selected as a uh, default supply sub inventory right in the vip parameters not a problem right but in second second item sz underscore memory otherwise it is hard disk here i am selecting raw material 2 system will understand what is the supply sub inventory what which we selected supply sub inventory raw material 1 right but i am adjusting on hand in raw material 2 also that meaning is what so no need to maintain always all the raw material quantity in sub one sub inventory we can maintain it different different sub inventories right it depends on so why sub inventory is maintaining that maintenance will be different from item to item that is the reason we maintain this many sub inventories so on hand i will maintain the uh, same item on hand we can maintain in different sub inventories also different items on hand will maintain in different sub inventories same way i am maintaining here select some quantity thousand account same <coughs> third item sz underscore memory here i am selecting raw material to thousand quantity right so now i selected three items save the form now here thing is what system can understand this is the supply sub inventory how remaining to how system will uh, transfer or it will allow you to transfer this hard disk and memory quantity from raw material to to shop floor just you remember that i'll explain you
next continue so now we adjusted on hand raw material on hand is available <clears throat> now what i'll do i'll create a work order for finished good what is my finished good cpu to produce one cpu how many processors required how much quantity required one one processor required one hard disk required one memory required after creating the work order as per make to stock cycle my inventory people has to release the quantity for processor hard disk memory based on bill quantity based on bill quantity from inventory to shop floor then only my production people can assemble it assembled product they will transfer from shop floor to inventory that is what uh, as expecting result we'll see what will happen in the system now in real and environment how i adjusted on hand we purchased from supplier p2p cycle is involved here but in the for the practice and for the testing i adjusted through miscellaneous receipt transactions <coughs> See, now what you answer, why miscellaneous receipt transaction? To adjust the on-hand from the front-end. Some different reasons are there. When we loading data from back-end, if anything failed, some less amount of records, for those items, I'll adjust from front-end. And also for the testing purpose. Now, what I told you, scenario. And also some other cases, uh, agriculture industry I told you, right? So we can't expect it creating work order for this many quantity. In that case also, the miscellaneous receipt transaction will adjust in uh, inventory. Suppose, uh, we have At any time, uh, we can find it, not a problem. I'll show you. Not bill of material, some other place, a uh, discrete job. From work order, we can identify how many items having on hand that we can find it. See, uh, maximum items normally they will maintain the stock. Sometimes, if on hand is not available for the components, what will happen? You have to stop the pro production, right? Even it is uh, item is small. Uh, less value items even though you have to stop your production so that is the reason always maximum cases uh, they will ensure maintaining the stock for 100% components sometimes it can happen see that is very rare situation that is uh, if happened that situation that will be definitely uh, Next pro uh, problem is very seriously we have to face that problem. That only what that is called inventory plannings. That will maintain inventory plannings. Automatically it will refill the stock. Okay, fine. Close this form. Now on hand is available. <clears throat> Next, write it heading supply types. Supply types. VIP supply types. Supply types. What is the uh, from where to where we are supplying? What we are supplying? 
raw material supplying from where to where? Inventory to shop floor. What is the supply type? Transferring raw material quantity from inventory to shop floor. There are different supply types are available. What are those? <clears throat> First one, push. First one, push. Second one, operation pull. Operation pull. Third one, assembly pull, assembly pull. <clears throat> Fourth one, bulk. Fifth one, Phantom. Phantom. Next one, supplier. Next one, a supplier. Phantom. <coughs> Next one, supplier. These are the six supply types are there to supply raw material quantity from inventory to shop floor. So first we'll test push. So uh, supply type when you select push, we have to create VP issue transactions manually to transfer raw material quantity from inventory to shop floor. VP issue transaction is what? Transferring the raw material through by creating VIP issue transaction, VIP issue transaction to transfer the quantity from shop floor to inventory. Sorry, inventory to shop floor. There are six types of supply types are there. First one is push. When you select the push for the raw material, we have to create a VIP issue transaction manually to transfer the raw material quantity from inventory to shop floor. That is the meaning is what? There is another option is automatic. There is another option is automatic. System will auto create the VP issue transaction. When, when you select operation pull and assembly pull. Again, what is the difference between these two? Operation pull and assembly pull. First, let's complete uh, push. Then we'll have a discussion next. Write it. Supply type. Uh, continue. Write it. Next heading is supply type push. Next heading. <clears throat> Next heading. Supply type push. We are testing now. Step one. <clears throat> Step one. Select supply type push for components. Select supply type push for components. Select supply type push for the components. Navigation <clears throat> bomb, bomb, bills, bills, bomb, bills, bills. Select your plant and select OK. Select F11. Enter your bill name. What is the bill name? V SZ underscore CPU. SZ underscore CPU. Select control F11. <clears throat> there is a 
tab called material control go to material control here supply types supply type select push for all the components i am selecting supply type push right where we selected supply sub inventory already we selected in the last class supply sub inventory in vip parameters that was the default supply sub inventory here also you can select the sub inventors component wise we can select it now here which one i have to select supply sub inventory for the hard disk huh? one or two two for the pr one now supply sub inventories are selecting at which are the levels which are the levels we can select supply sub inventories one is vip parameters level another one is bill level huh? supply sub inventories we can select at bill level and vip parameter which one is high priority which one system will consider bill level bill level system always if not available any supply sub inventory at bill level then system will take from the parameters level now clear right now we can transfer raw material quantity from multiple sub inventories to shop floor <clears throat> fine save the and one more thing. now what i what i did supply sub inventory i selected and supply type also i selected save the form they will ask you question actually sometimes in vip parameters we selected vip supply sub inventory but on hand is not available in that sub inventory in some another sub inventory on hand is available from there how we can supply the material how system will know if you want to transfer there we can select supply sub inventory at bill level also <coughs> Next, another question. I have three sub inventories. One sub inventory selected at VIP parameters level. Another sub inventory selected at bill level. But on hand is available in third sub inventory. Now, how we can transfer? Create VIP issue transaction manually. While creating VIP issue transaction, I will update the sub inventory. All the options are available. You will not face this problem anywhere. Is supplying the material from inventory to shop floor. Right. <clears throat> Close the form. Next. Create discrete job. Create standard discrete job. Create SDZ. If you want to write it short name. SDZ. Standard discrete job. Create SDZ. Navigation. Whip. Discrete. Discrete jobs. Whip. Discrete. Discrete jobs. <clears throat> ZH. Select your plant. Select new. I am creating a new work order, right? Select. See, all are the names are uh, same. Work order, job order, discrete job, DZ, all are the same only. Okay. Select new. Here, job number, work order number. If you tab out, system will generate a work order number. <laughs> to generate work order number, we didn't define anywhere setup not created anywhere setup it is already system design but if you want you can maintain the numbers manually also z h underscore one this is the work order number manually also you can maintain with alphanumeric special characters here type is what job type standard and non-standard i am creating what why I am creating standard? To produce new quantity. 
to produce new quantity. Select assembly. What is the assembly? Nothing but your finished good. What is your finished good? CPU. SZ underscore CPU. <clears throat> This is the free picks only, right? Yes, the Dutch. Automatically, it will not happen here. We can do not a problem. Some uh, personalization, code customization, we can do it. Front end functional setup is not available. Now, see what will happen when I tab out automatically this class defaulted. What is this class? VIP accounting class. How it is defaulted? We assign to the parameters. If not assigned to the VIP parameters, you have to select manually this one. Next, here status by default work order status unreleased. Right. Continue with unreleased only. Here. Five quantity. What is the five? Quantity is five I selected. What is the quantity start five? I am going to start production to produce 5 CPUs, 5 CPUs. If I tab out, what will happen? Now MRP net, after production, yield quantity for finished good, how much? 5 only, right? Will you get it more or less? I plan to produce 5, but getting yield can be less or more. Is it possible? It's possible sometimes. In CPU's case, it is anyway, it is not possible. If I planned for 5, definitely I'll get a yield 5. Some cases, I told you, right? Potato chips. Hmm. I created work order for 1000 uh, pockets with 100 grams. Will you produce more than the 1000 pockets? Will you produce less than the 1000 pockets? It's possible. But in this case, it is not possible. Here. Automobiles, laptops, electrical, electronics item, whatever. In maximum cases, we selected start quantity. Same quantity will get as a output quantity. Fine. Start date. When you are going to start production? Today only. And here, when you know, see, start date, completion date. When you are going to start? When you are going to complete? Clear, right? When you are going to start production, when you are going to stop your production, that is completion date. No need to select both. If you select start date, automatically system will calculate the completion date. When you select completion date, automatically system will calculate a start date. How system will calculate it? So today I selected start date, completion date selected 24th February. How it is calculated? Based on lead times. Lead time we discussed right in the uh, where uh, outline of the business process. Very beginning of the classes we discussed right how planning people uh, they will suggest to the uh, buyers and production people based on lead times only. That is lead time. Lead time. How many types of lead times? Two types of lead times. One is procurement lead time. Another one is manufacturing lead time. This is what type of lead time? Manufacturing lead time. So that is the reason we discussed in detail very beginning of the classes, the details and all. Now anyway, I was not selected anywhere lead time. What will happen if not selected? Same date only it will take as a completion date. Where will select a manufacturing lead time for the item? In the item creation form, there are different tabs are there, right? Some 17 tabs are there. Main tab, inventory tab, purchasing tab, work in process. There is another one, lead times also. In the lead times, when you select, you will find a processing lead time and manufacturing lead time. Again, manufacturing lead time, different lead times are there. Variable lead time, fixed lead time, cumulative lead time. Variable lead time mean what? That can be changed. Lead times can be. We can't uh, maintain fixed lead time. If any time missions break down, some power cuts, uh, lack of the resources, what will happen to your uh, manufacturing lead time? If everything what we expected 100% available, it's, it's okay. Four days will complete it. 
if anything one it is not available automatically this lead time will be increased that is called variable lead time fixed lead time means always we have to stick with that what we decided days so anyway here that is what the completion date it will and thing is here supply type based on bill how many supply types are there six based on bill which supply type system will follow for this work order based on bill which available push so if i continue with based on bill in the bill which supply type is available system will follow that right fine just save the form save the form Mm. Five yes. Why will not know? <coughs> this is I am creating CPUs. I am going to produce CPUs. Five. Uh. Uh, in that case, <coughs> some quantity you select it. Uh, actually, whatever quantity yielded, that I'll transfer to the. Uh, whatever quantity you selected that system it will default as a yield quantity okay. that you leave it here not a problem but while transferring from shop floor to inventory then we specify a how much quantity actually yielded okay. then what will happen your planned quantity and actually transferred quantity will happen a variance that also we can track I'll show you. I'll show you. Slowly I'll come all those things and that. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'll show you not a problem. You don't worry. Uh, so, completely I'll cover discrete manufacturing. Why? Because I'm very much interested with modules. I'm not interested with SEM modules actually. I'm uh, I very, I'm having good interest in uh, production modules always. That can be OPMR, that can be production, uh, discrete manufacturing. That is, uh, SEM is always known uh, uh, concepts only. Here we can uh, see the uh, different concepts. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, now here there is operations tab and components. Here operations. Just select operations. Just see what this 10 and 20, what are those? 10 and 20. Operation, standard operations. 10 is the assembling operation, 20 is the testing. Hour. How it is defaulting here? From where defaulting? Routing. From the routing. Routing created for which item? SZ underscore CPU. Right. There is, here you have to understand more. Select quantities, Q, run, to move, reject, scrap. What are those? Run, Q, run, to move, reject, scrap. What are those? Intraoperation steps. Intraoperation steps. See, this five quantity not available in any uh, intraoperation step. Reason? Still, this work order in unreleased. Unreleased meaning? Still some information we have to add for the work order. Everything is ready information. What I will do as a production manager, I will change the status from unreleased to released. Then my production people will start producing the finished goods. And that okay, that here you people are clear, right? Now, 10th operation, select button components here hard disk memory processor these are three components we are consuming in which operation tenth how system is uh, here finding 
this three components consuming in 10th operation where we did this association in the bill in the bill we assign standard operations to the component okay fine and also quantities per assembly one quantity is required how it is system is understanding bill only to produce for this work order for this work order how much quantity required five why five required work order created for five quantity to produce one cpu how many hard disk are required one five into one it is five quantity so now totally on hand is available how much in your sub inventory thousand here you can find a say as the inventory person i'll find on hand in which where which form on hand availability form as a production person i can find in the work order no need to go to anyway in real time they will not provide inventory responsibility to the production people so how they see they will ask you question in interview as a production person how will you know what is on hand is available in the work order while creating work order we can identify currently what is on hand is available in the inventory thousand thousand available now it is in open so five quantity we have to transfer from where to where inventory to shop floor once transferred quantity from inventory to shop floor what will happen this five quantity it will come it will show under issue now it is not showing why because not transferred till still on complete on hand is available in the inventory only right okay to transfer quantity from inventory to shop floor which supply type using agnes this work order push how will you know that select button supply from which sub inventory we are transferring here this sub inventory is defaulting from where to where from where from vip parameters or from bill from bill high priority is bill if not available in bill it will transfer it will default from vip parameters so anything you want to ask here questions Hmm. creating see that also not possible always keeping stock in one sub inventory right you can maintain multiple sub inventory then in that case uh, you will understand in the next step you will understand this way now okay fine close this form next second operation right select button components here not available not available in the bill only we assign 10th operation to the components i am not going to consume any components quantity in the 20th it is just testing see to assemble cpu in which operation you have to maintain stock for components only 10th operation is enough right in the 10th operation as assemble assembled product i'll transfer to the testing in the testing just they will test it whether they fixed or assembled correctly or not it whether it is working or not if it is working that is 20th operation is completed fine close this form now if people remember right here in the intra operation step not available anywhere that work order quantity just close this form and now change the status from unreleased to released select button released save the form we have to change manually automatically it will not allow every time manually you have to change it <clears throat> there are in make to order case automatically system will generate the work orders with release that also we have to decide it how you want to generate now just see don't write it operations five what is the meaning Huh? it is now change the list now five it is in queue five quantity awaiting for assembling when that mean assembling running 
tenth operation is running when we can understand see i i'm the production manager here i released so somewhere that production will uh, assembling is uh, will be going on how i will know when quantity is available in running from the office see i'll not sit in production area right somewhere i'll sit in uh, different area as a production manager i want to see what's happening in the production area so when quantity is available fine running still going on when quantity is available 20th q what i understand 10th operation is completed this assembly assembled quantity awaiting for testing right so now what i have to i have to move quantity from 10th operation q intra operation step to run intra operation step which is the transaction is called what move transaction which is called move transaction cut it <clears throat> once work order is created released close the form create move transactions create move transactions create move transaction to transfer assembly quantity from so in the first supply type case write it everything clearly so next our remaining supply types i will not wait this much time i'll quickly complete it one one, one or two minutes every all the cycles so you please concentrate on this one why because this much time if i wait one day we can complete one supply type only right so that is the reason carefully uh, you write it and understand okay uh, create move transactions to transfer assembly quantity from 10th operation q intra operation step to run intra operation step run intra operation step <coughs> run intra operation step hello sir yeah tell me uh, sir we didn't uh, create a uh, transaction means we have not transferred the material from mainly to shop yeah I'll, i'll i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll come to that okay okay navigation navigation web move transactions move transactions web move transaction here you have to understand concept uh some transaction when you are creating that is not a matter that is not uh, important you have to understand concept navigation web move transactions move transactions write it <clears throat> job number work order number select work order number now see transaction type move why selected only move it is move transaction select here what is the from operation operations from from which to which operation to which operation transferring from 10th q to now here it is available why because work order was released select okay here which operation you have to select Huh? Which operation? Tenth operation. Here, which one? Run. How much quantity you want to move? Five assembly quantity. At any time, I want to start assemble. Sometimes I'll issue partial quantity also when five. Now complete work order quantity transferring from here to there. sometime i'll issue i'll transfer less quantity again that is depends on your uh, resource availability department availability area availability less quantity also we can transfer it not a problem so five quantity here right select button save select button save 
Now, just complete it. So my production people, the production people, they will do this. Well, who will create work, uh, move transaction? Production people. As a production manager, I want to see what happened. What's going on in the production area? Well, what I'll do, I'll not check this uh, move transaction form. Always I will have the work order dashboard. Just see, don't write it. Work order number, select work order number, select find, go to operations, your quantities, now it is in running, components, quantities, still on hand is available in inventory only, right? That quantity I have to find in issued, then only I can, they can assemble, right? Without issuing this three components quantity from inventory to shop floor how they can assemble it is not possible right in the real uh, practical production floor then what we have to do as a production people we have to request to the inventory people transfer raw material quantity to the shop floor against which operation 10th operation continue Create VIP issue transaction. Create VIP issue transaction. Create VIP issue transaction. To transfer component quantity. To transfer components quantity. To transfer components quantity from from Inventory to shop floor. From inventory to shop floor. From inventory to shop floor. Navigation. Whip. Material transactions. Whip material transactions. Whip. Material transactions. Whip material transactions <clears throat> select work order number against which work order you want to release it here transaction type which transaction we are creating we issue only right here continue with we issue select transaction type we issue All material or specific component? All right. I want to release all three. So continue with all material. Continue with all material. Select button. Continue. Select button. Continue. Select button. Continue. See, items all three defaulted. Sub inventory is defaulted. Operation defaulted. Department details defaulted. Require quantity defaulted. How much quantity we have to transfer defaulted. So here, no need to do anything. Just select button done. How these are all the details defaulted? From where these details are defaulted? From where these details are defaulted? Huh? From where? Hmm? This three, all the details are defaulted from where? Hmm? Uh, you tell me first, where available these details? In? In the bill available, also available job. Uh, now you tell me from where these details are defaulting? Hmm? From job. From the job. After defaulting the details from bill to job, as required, I can update it, right? So, always in the VIP issue transaction, default from work order only. Always. Okay, fine. Select button, done. 
I am not doing any changes. Okay, five quantity required, five quantity I'll transfer. Select button done. Select button done. Now, transferred quantity from inventory to shop. Again, that I want to know, right? As a production manager, I want to see whether the trans uh, quantity transferred or not. Just see, don't write it. Just see, form. Discrete, discrete jobs. Work order number, select button find. Operations, quantities. It is in file, running. Right. Select components, quantities. Now what happened? In your inventory, on hand is reduced. Why? Because issued to the production. As a production manager, so I'll find it already. Uh, components quantity transferred from inventory to shop floor. Now my production people they can complete production process. Continue. Next, create move transactions. Create move transactions. To transfer assembly quantity from to transfer assembly quantities from 10th run to 20th queue 10th run to 20th queue clear right 10th standard operation run intra operation step to 20th standard operation standard operation queue Intraoperation step. Okay. 10th run to 20th Q. What does that mean? 10th operation already completed. Navigation whip move transactions, move transactions. Whip move transactions, move transactions. Select work order. Here, yeah, from operation is what? What is the operation? 10. Run automatically defaulted. Why? Because now assembly quantity available in run. To operation 20. What is the intra operation step? Q. Select Q. How much quantity? 5. Select button, save. Select button, save. Again, as a production manager in the work or job, I can find it where assembly quantity is available. That anyway, people can see after. Next, continue. Again, next step. Create move transactions. Create move transactions. To transfer assembly quantity. To transfer assembly quantity from 20th. Q to 20th run. 20th. Q to 20th run. Same navigation. We have more transactions, more transactions. <laughs> Mm. Tenth Q to tenth run. <clears throat> First we did from tenth Q to run. Next now what I'm doing? Tenth run to twentieth Q. We get writing clearly, right? Huh. Why? Because tenth operation is completed. <clears throat> now what I next what I we are doing now? Twentieth Q to run. Why? Because we have to start twentieth operation. From operation twentieth Q to what happened here? 
20th q to 20th run 20th q to 20th run how much quantity 5 select button save now 20th operation is running 20th operation also completed testing is completed next continue write it create move transactions create move transactions to transfer assembly quantity to transfer assembly quantity from 20th run to what from 20th run to to move interoperation step you write it clearly uh, create move transactions to transfer assembly quantity from 20th run to 20th to move 20th run to 20th to move 20th to move what does that mean when assembly quantity available in the to move interoperation step meaning is what <coughs> quantities are produced five quantities are produced to move quantity available this assembly quantity awaiting to transfer from shop floor to inventor that is the meaning 20th run to 20th to move navigation write it same with move transactions move transactions Okay. Work order. Twentieth. Run to. Just a minute. Twentieth. Run to. Twentieth. To move. Sorry. To move. How much quantity? Five. Select button. Save. Select button. Save. <clears throat> so. All the operations are completed. Whatever option operations required to produce a finished good. Now, quantity assembly quantity awaiting in the last operation to move interoperation step to transfer this quantity to finished good sub inventory. Transferring finished good quantity from shop floor to inventory. It is what? What type of transaction? Completion transaction. Continue. So, and one more thing, uh, just you, just see, don't write it, discrete, finally, I'll show you this one, work, uh, job, uh, it is in released, operations, quantities, first operation completed, second operation also completed, this five quantity, awaiting in to move, to what, inventory, continue. Create completion transactions. Create completion transactions. To transfer assembly quantity, create completion transaction to transfer assembly quantity from shop floor to inventory. From shop floor to inventory. <coughs> from shop floor to inventory navigation whip material transactions completion transactions whip material transactions completion transactions whip material transaction completion transactions Select work order number. Transaction type is what? With completion only. Job quantity 5. Available to complete 5. Why it is showing in the last operation to move interoperation step available. Select button. Continue. Select button. Continue. Here, sub inventory. What I am selecting here? 
hmm? finished good sub inventory i am transferring to finished good sub inventory currently what is the on hand is available in the finished good sub inventory zero now how much quantity i am transferring five select button done select button done so again as a production manager i want to know whether this my production people they transferred or not right just see don't write it discrete say uh, whatever step you are performing you go to discrete job and you find it uh, the changes then you will have the clear understanding okay here yeah, operations quantities see earlier it was available to move not available meaning is what already they transfer to the inventory right next finally find on hand availability for the finished good find on hand availability for the finished good say as a production manager i confirmed already i transferred to the inventory as the inventory manager i have to confirm right myself whether on hand is updated or not my inventory navigation inventory on hand availability on hand quantity inventory on hand availability on hand quantity select your inventory sz underscore cpu just select button find available file that in which sub inventory available in finished good sub inventory and also you can check it on hand for the anyway that all already be clear right uh, reduced quantity for components hard disk one of one you check it what was on hand adjusted a thousand now it is 995 so this is one basic cycle right so tomorrow we'll have a discussion remaining supply types you complete this one today uh, tomorrow i'll not wait maximum five i'll complete in uh, tomorrow okay why because my planning is i have to complete this one in maximum in week uh, production so any question you want to ask